What's up, sports bettors? Alex here, and we are going through the best WNBA bets for today. So we have three games, and I'm going to be zoning in on this fairy tale game. We have the Mystics versus the Dream. So I have a sharp positive EV bet for this game. So again, what the Odds Jam positive EV tool will show you is it's just constantly, you know, scanning these sports books, looking at all the odds and trying to find you line discrepancies, trying to find you sharp bets. So for example, we bet the Cubs plus 237. We got a parlay with the White Sox and the Giants. But anyways, let's get into our WNBA bet. So if we scroll down, we can see the first bet available in the WNBA is Dream Mystics under 157 total points, right? So the way this tool works is you'll see a positive profit margin on either the top row or the bottom row. So here we can see Dream Mystics. It's on the bottom row. So we want to scroll along, and this is the bet we want to be on. Under 157 points at minus 110 odds on win bet. So we can check out the odds, you know, for the total points and see if we're really getting a true pricing discrepancy. And if we kind of scroll through, you can see that win bet really is an outlier, right? Pinnacle, the sharpest bookmaker, their pricing, the over-under, kind of in line with FanDuel, one and a half points lower at over-under 155 half, right? So we're able to pick up some pretty good value on win bet at minus 110, and we can kind of quantify that profit margin mathematically using real-time odds from the sharpest bookmaker. So again, you know, when using Odds Jam as well, any books you want to filter out, all those things, if you don't want to bet on particular sports, if you don't have certain sports books available to you, you know, you can filter books out here. So you can see I have a bunch of the offshore books, um, Unibet filtered out, some soccer leagues as well if you don't want to see them in your account. So it's fully customizable. You can set the max odds you want to be on. Do you want to bet on player props? Kind of everything you can set up in your settings. So we'll go back here and we can discuss our, our bet very briefly, which you can see I locked in right here. So we have Mystic's Dream under 157 minus 110 odds. And again, this is the highest profit margin bet on Odds Jam for the WNBA today. 3.46% profit margin, bottom row. And your goal as a sports better, right, is really place as many, you know, profitable bets as you can on a daily basis. So we have the under, we have the Cubs, we have this two-leg parlay, right? This is a sharp parlay. We have the White Sox, who we got minus 101 in our parlay. Now you can see they're down to minus 119. And then we also have uh, the Giants, I believe, minus 120, and now they're down to minus 124. So two sharp bets in our parlay, always looking for edge, always looking for value as a sports better. You're essentially like forming your own hedge fund of profitable bets throughout the WNBA, MLB, things like that, looking for profitable bets, positive profit margins, and locking those bets in. So profit margin of this bet is 3.46%. We're staking $100, as you can see right here. So the profit margin of this bet quantified in dollars is just going to be $3.46. So you can bet a little more on it. You can bet a little less on it. You know, you can use a Kelly calculator, this little calculator right here, if you'd like to, um, which will kind of tell you the optimal fraction of your bankroll to wager, depending on how good a bet is, right? Obviously, if a bet is more profitable, you want to wager more on it. If a bet is less profitable, you want to wager less on it. But how do you quantify that mathematically? And the way you do that is with a Kelly calculator. So if you go into sports betting with a fixed bankroll, let's say 10,000 bucks, whatever, 4,000 bucks, 400 bucks, doesn't matter. You can set up your bankroll and it will tell you the optimal fraction of your bankroll to wager on any specific bet. So you can see right here, I ended up locking this in for $100. So I can go ahead and add this to my Odds Jam bet tracker. So the Odds Jam bet tracker is a pretty useful feature because, you know, Odds Jam, the betting tools, what the betting tools do is they show you these profitable bets, right? They show you these line discrepancies where, hey, you know, there's a lot of differences in the total points of the Mystic Stream game. And then it's our job as a sports better to take a look at the odds and see what we want to be on. So if we go to my bet tracker, um, what we can see is if we just pull this up very briefly, you know, the bet tracker will show you your profit and loss as a sports better. 
So you can see right here, we have our profit and loss, our ROI, as well as how often we're beating the closing line. How often are we beating the market? So what I like to do, you know, kind of on a daily basis as I place my bets, is just go through at the end of every day and make sure I'm beating the closing line, I'm getting better odds than the closing line, which you can see kind of here in green on most of my wagers. You're not always gonna be able to beat the closing line, but if you wanna be a profitable sports better, you have to beat the market. And the way you beat the market is you find sharp, positive EV bets, you lock them in, you beat the closing line. That's how you generate a positive ROI as a sports better and a positive net profit. Of course, you'll have you know downswings, you'll have upswings, there's variance. No sports better wins every day, every week. But if you're placing sharp bets with an edge, true pricing discrepancies, you know, you're going to be profitable in the long run. So I hope you like my bets for today. Let me know if you're tailing under 157 Mystic Stream. Let's make some money.